Hey guys, I'm Justin Boggs, the co-founder of Marketplace Valet. We help brands optimize and operate on Amazon. Since 2006, we have over 417,000 reviews as a seller. I'm here to discuss all things Amazon, solve problems, and answer common questions. Today's video is about invalid charge method, seller central account restricted, solved. Let's get into it. If you're seeing the message invalid charge method on your Amazon seller central account and your account is restricted, don't panic. This issue happens to many sellers and there's a simple fix. In this video, we'll explain why this error occurs, how to resolve it quickly, and how to prevent it in the future. There are several reasons why Amazon may flag your charge method as invalid. The most common cause is an expired credit card, but it could also be due to your bank flagging the transaction as fraudulent. In some cases, a chargeback, whether intentional or accidental, can also trigger this issue. When Amazon detects a payment problem, it restricts the account to prevent further transactions. To fix this, the first step is to update your payment method. If your credit card is expired, replace it with a valid one. If your bank blocked the charge, contact them and authorize Amazon payments. If there's a chargeback involved, work with both Amazon and your bank to resolve it. As a temporary solution, you can switch to using your available Amazon account funds to resume advertising and cover fees. However, Amazon still requires a working credit card on file for continued account activity. This includes subscription fees and ad charges, so even if you use account funds in the short term, a credit card is still necessary. It's important to avoid making unnecessary changes to your banking details while resolving this issue. If you update your bank account while a deposit is pending, especially within five days of the scheduled deposit, Amazon may flag your account for security reasons and temporarily restrict access. The best approach is to first fix the credit card issue, allow any pending deposits to go through, and only then update your banking details if needed. For those wondering whether to pay for ads using a credit card or Amazon account funds, using a credit card is generally the better choice. It ensures smooth transactions, and if you have a rewards card, you can earn cash back or points on your ad spend. This can be a valuable benefit for long-term sellers. Resolving the invalid charge method issue is straightforward. Keep an active credit card on file, ensure your bank authorizes Amazon transactions, and be mindful of timing when making banking changes. With these steps, your account should be back to normal quickly. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more Amazon Seller Central updates. If you have any questions or need help growing your brand on Seller Central, feel free to check us out at marketplacevalet.com. Like and follow us for more helpful Amazon content. Thanks for watching this video.